Hello, Willikins, and welcome back to another episode. So today, I wanted to share a little bit here. Um, so, first, let me take a sip of water, okay? Hydration is key, for those of you who don't know. Oh, that's so nice and cold. Okay, so... I want to talk to you about a lot of things coming up. Um, in this video, though, I do want to kind of focus on kind of the more um, vegan aspect of things and pregnancy. So, for those of you who don't know, I am pregnant. Um, it's crazy to me. Um, the transition from maiden to mother is just incredible, and every day, um, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy, and then every week, learning about new things that are happening and developing is just, it's incredible. We are so amazing, um of a species <laughs> and I'm sure um, all mom all mothers feel this way um, and all species because um, it's just it's I mean you can't really explain it it's just such a beautiful thing um, so yeah <laughs> I want to talk about that today Whew. Sorry, I do need to hydrate because um, it's just really dry in winter time, and I need to make sure that my nose stays good and I can breathe. <laughs> I do have a humidifier on right next to me, so if you see any like white mist. That is why. And the heater is about to turn on. So if that gets too loud, I may move. But hopefully it won't be too loud. Anywho, sorry. <laughs> Let's just get into it, shall we? So I want to first talk about my first trimester. Um, but before I do, I hope that's not too loud. Okay. So, um... <laughs> yes, let's just get into it. So I did write down some um, brief notes about the first trimester. I am in the second trimester now, so um, I'm thankful for the first trimester to be done with. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kind of talk about my first trimester experience and what helped um, for me. Because my um, experience may be different than yours, or it may help you um, if you are pregnant, or if you're thinking about becoming pregnant and vegan. So, <clears throat> like I said, it, it, the um, when I first, um, like, okay, so I was getting already morning sickness, um, or just feeling kind of like blah, and, um, like I didn't think that anything of it, and then <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, this, this is a little strange, why am I feeling this way, like, every day, um, and so I was like, okay, and I, and I knew that it wasn't like COVID, because it wasn't like that kind of stuff. It was just like, <sighs> like I knew what I, like I was conscious, like I, I was aware of my surroundings. I wasn't dizzy or um, headachy or like any of the symptoms except for some nausea and um, it had to deal with food <laughs> so right there was should have been 
a kind of key indicator, hey, you might want to take a pregnancy test. So um, I did. And then it was like, you know, all of these emotions just hit you at one moment. And it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I am going to become a mama. <laughs> and um, I don't know, it's just, it's the craziest feeling. And it's wonderful. And like I said, the transition from maiden to mother is a really big deal, you know, um, especially for my kind of beliefs and stuff. It's very celebrated because it's such a big moment in a woman's life. You know, having a child, I mean, it's just, it's a big moment. Um, so, uh, in, okay, so like the early weeks, um, yeah, I can't really tell you exactly what timing it was, but in, right after the morning sickness, like, uh, and I found out um, then food really became strange to me. Like, it was a whole new thing. Um, and, <laughs> like, at first, I love smoothies. And uh, I just, I had, a, like, a lot of smoothies. Um, and then smoothies were not so nice. Like, uh, they were, like, the and I just couldn't even look at one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, <clears throat> dealt with that. <laughs> and, oh, I could not help making dinner at l a lot of the moments. Like, for some reason, cutting onions was a no-go. I could not do it. I had to ask my husband, I was like, please, can you just um, take over with the cutting because it's just making me nauseous. Um, so he did, thankfully. Like, like um, I'm thankful to have him around because he has been a huge help and just loving, supportive. And for those of you who don't have that, seek out family and friends so you're getting the love and support that you need because sometimes it can be challenging and it's okay to ask for help. Um, I know a lot of women want to be that strong and empowered woman that they are, but it is also okay and strong and empowering to ask for help. It took me uh, until now to... Uh, um, like being pregnant, it has taken me until now to do that. So please ask for help if you need it. Um, don't feel shame or guilty or anything. Just do it. It's okay. Um, and like I said, as for food, um, in the beginning, I was basically munching on um, snack foods. Because it was the only thing that sounded kind of appealing. So like Cliff Bars, the Peanut Butter Crunch Bar, um, Nuts, Seeds. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other things. Um, I mean, I like fruit, like eating the fruit. But having it in a smoothie was, it was like, nope, I can't do it, like, at some points, and then sandwiches, <laughs> so, and I'm talking, I would have one every day for lunch, um, and it was basically the same sandwich over and over again, just, like, different veggies, because either we ran out of something or whatever, 
Um, <laughs> so it was Dave's Killer Bread, um, different kinds of it too, like the 21 grain, the, um, um, white one, uh, like the white, um, bread, and then the seed one, um, so it varied. <laughs> and some days I could have one type and it was good, and then the next day I'd be like, mm, nope, can't have that. Some days I'd like it toasted, some days I wouldn't. It was just so weird to find that like middle ground in the beginning. But yeah, I had a sandwich basically every day for lunch. Um, and it mainly consisted of, and um, now I know it's not that healthy, but um, vegan mayo. Um, and then there was like bell pepper, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, um, and then varying things throughout. Um, my untuna sandwich, I have a video of that on my channel. Um, and the other unhealthy thing would have been the vegan cheese with um, these like turkey slices. Um, I can't remember what brand we got, because we got a few different ones. One was from Tofurky, and then the other one, um, I think is like by Smart something, or something like that. But yeah, um, yeah. And grilled cheese. <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah. I mean, whatever I could eat, um, and a lot of the time I couldn't prepare what I was trying to eat because it just, it made me nauseated, so I had to have some of it made for me, um, just to be able to eat it. <laughs> um, potatoes really helped a lot. I still enjoy having a good baked potato or um, homemade fries or whatever. Um, and then in the beginning, snacking on hummus was really nice. Uh, later in the weeks though, of the first trimester, no, no, I couldn't think about having hummus. <laughs> um, tea in the beginning was really nice. And I'm talking like lemon, raspberry, blueberry, um, all the kind of fruity ones, and then camel meal. All of those were amazing and nice in the morning. Um, lemon ginger tea in the beginning was nice, but then couldn't have tea. <laughs> like it just, it was off-putting and I couldn't do it. Um, now I can have, um, camel meal tea every, like, once in a while. And so I'm gradually able to have tea now, but in the first trimester, it was like, no, get that away from me. <laughs> um, Um, basically the first trimester I was wearing nothing but comfy clothes. Um, my, now, and that was in, more so in the evening. During the day, I could dress up real nice, you know, um, but in the evening I couldn't, I had to put on comfy clothes. I had a bloating issue, and kind of still do. Um, but I've been kind of seeing what foods aren't working with which ones to help the bloating not be there because it is not comfortable <laughs> to be bloating. So I've been trying to like figure out what combines best with what and so forth like that. Um, so I literally have to eat one thing at a time. Um, so if I have a salad, um, some french fries, and then maybe a vegan burger or something, I start off with the salad, 
then I go to the front, the potato, and then I go to the vegan burger. Um, and if I don't, my stomach, oh my god, the bloating is insane. Like, it looks like I am way further in my pregnancy than I am. <laughs> and that was just first trimester. So, yeah, um... Later in the day, definitely was wearing the comfy clothes because by that point, I mean, it was yeah, like big old belly <laughs> and it was, it was so uncomfortable. So, um, I just like to mention and also stay hydrated, um, which also helped, but be careful with your food combining because, and also eat smaller meals, um, because those two things do help. Um, I am taking a prenatal vitamin and also um, omega supplement. Um, uh, da, da. I would go get them, but I really don't want to. <laughs> um, but they're just vegan. Um, and they're good. Um, I haven't, I didn't have any issues with them. Um, the prenatal that I have is kind of big, but it's not, like, too big, um, to where it's kind of like you're gagging on it to get it down. Um, and I didn't have any issues with the, like, vitamin taste. Um, I just swigged it down with some orange juice, and that usually was fine. Um, and along with the Omega supplement, I took them together, because they aren't that bad. And I was doing that before I got pregnant, too, so, um, I just kind of got into the habit of taking them both at the same time. And then, let's see here. Uh, yeah, oatmeal was hit or miss. Um, some days it was like, yes, I want that with some frozen fruit on top, some flax seeds, um, and it was amazing. Other days, no. <laughs> Wouldn't go near it. Tofu scramble. Um, some days it smelt really like the, and the veggies were like, no, please, no. But other days it was like, yeah, I really feel like a tofu scramble. So it's it's hard to figure that out in the beginning. But once you find out what you're kind of liking and what you can have, it's so much easier. So, um, and stick to it. It's okay if it's plain. It's okay if it's boring. It's okay if it's the same as the day before. Um, just as long as you can eat it, you know, um, that's why I did a lot of snacky foods. Um, also for breakfast, I found to be very helpful is an everything bagel with some sautéed spinach, and I mean a lot of sautéed spinach, and then having, um, nutritional yeast, and then a little bit of vegan butter and some hot sauce. Um, hot sauce has been okay with me so far. I haven't had any issues. However, jalapenos, no go. Um, even still, they they are still a no go. <laughs> so it's weird because I am I am a spicy person. I like spicy food, but I'm just glad I can have my hot sauce. Um, so yeah, that's all the kind of, like, notes that I took on my first trimester. Um, I mean, it, it was a little bit of a challenge, but, you know, you, you just get into the swing of things and you figure out what you can have on a daily basis and what you can't, and you just run with it. If some days you're feeling more like a tofu scramble, or if you're feeling like just a bagel, or... Um, and some fruit or something, go for it. It's okay, you know? Um, 
yeah. it's your first trimester, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge um, because of the morning sickness and food aversions and all that stuff. And your body knows what it's doing. So um, it is completely normal and it is okay. Um, but you're going to figure it out. Um, the things that you like in your first trimester, you may not like in your second trimester and that is okay. Um, because like now I can eat like normal, basically. I don't really care for ice cream. It, it is, sounds just disgusting to me for right now. And it did in my first trimester as well. And that's okay because that's, that's just my body. It's like, nope, my biggest craving right now is fruit. Um, and... But I'll talk more about this second trimester later on after I am finished with it and into my third. Um, and we'll see and look back at the changes and stuff. So, yeah, I'm sorry that this one has been long, but I wanted to kind of just, like, give you a little bit of an insight of my first trimester, um just to see maybe if it will help one of you out there or maybe you went through the same thing as me or what I don't know um everybody goes through something different uh and I just wanted to share with you my experience thus far I will be doing more of these kinds of videos um, maybe even posting to my Instagram, um, which is, uh, Bright Willow Workshop, I think. I don't know, I'll have to look at that and insert it somewhere. Um, because I can't remember exactly how it's laid out. <laughs> it's been a while since I looked at it. But, um, yeah, so look on there. I've been, um posting stuff about veganism and all kinds of goodies. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you. <laughs> um, I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. And hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video, which has been every Tuesday. So, and there's more to come. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.